The sum ifs function came in a bit later than the rest, and it takes what sum if does to another level. So sum if allows you to look at a range of cells, pick out something, and add up something from a corresponding range. Now sum ifs lets you do that for multiple ranges and multiple criteria. Now you've got to be a little bit careful because moving from sum if to sum ifs, the order of the information you provide changes. If you look down to the grey box here, this is the way you need to provide information. The very first thing you provide is the thing that's added up. In the sum if, it was the last thing you added up. After you've provided the sum range, and there's only ever one of those, you then pair up the lookup range and the criteria, the lookup range and the criteria, for as many as you want to do. So again, here's how to read that in English. The first thing you provide is what to tally, then the first range to check and what to check, the second range to check and what to check, and so on. So let's do some examples here. The first question here is asking, how many jobs were assigned to Queensland plasterers? So jobs is the thing we're tallying. That's the thing we're adding up at the end of the day. There's two things we're checking for. We're checking the state for QLD, Queensland. We're also checking the trade for plasterer. And where both of those are true, go across to the number of jobs and add them to a tally. So let's do one. Here I start off by saying equals sum ifs with an S on the end. Open the brackets. And I'm going to click the FX so you can see what I'm doing as I go through. Now the first thing I provide is the thing that's being added up. That is the number of jobs. That's I3 to I21. Now criteria range one, that's the first range of cells that I'm checking for something. So let's start with the state, E3 to E21. And within that, I'm checking for QLD. Okay, it's got to match what's in the state column. Let's go to criteria range two. The second thing we're checking is the trade. So let's select D3 to D21. And the particular trade we're looking for is plasterer. So with all of those things done, so there's two ranges and two criteria being checked for, one sum range. And you can see the preview answer here is 136. When we click OK, that's what we see. The second question is asking how many jobs were assigned to Queensland brickers over the age of 50? So here, there's actually three criteria. We've got to check the state for QLD, the trade for brickie, and the age for greater than 50. Here's how that looks. We say equals sum ifs, open brackets. Again, I'm going to click the FX so you can follow me through here. The sum range, again, is the number of jobs. My first criteria range is the state, E3 to E21, and I'm checking that for QLD again. The second criteria range is the trade, so D3 to D21, and I'm checking that for Bricky. The third criteria range is the age, F3 to F21, and I'm checking that for greater than 50. Now, even though these are numeric criteria, or this last one's numeric, You'll notice because I'm using the boxes here, every time I tab down to a new box, it adds quotes around the criteria. If you're writing your function yourself manually, you know, straight into the cell, you need to remember to put quotes around every criteria, even if it's numeric. That's the way these functions work. If you don't, it'll cause an error. So again, looking at the function, we have one sum range, I3 to I21. We're checking the next range for Queensland, the range after that for Bricky, and the range after that for greater than 50. So all of these, apart from the first one, everything else is paired up as we go through. When we click OK, we get 23 as an answer. Now, another thing to bear in mind with your formulas is that you need to make sure that every range you select is the same size. So it's no good choosing D3 to D21 here, but then E3 to E20 here. Like if you select one cell short or one cell too far, it'll cause an error. Everything has to be the same size. And normally when you're working within a table, that's the case anyway, but just be careful. So this last example, I've thrown everything at it. Just to show you there's no limits to what you can do, so here we actually have five things we're checking for. What it's asking for is how many jobs were assigned to plumbers between the ages of 30 and 40 living in New South Wales who drive a Holden. Okay, that's a bit extreme, but this is the sort of thing you can do. There are no limits to how many things you can check. The one tricky part to this is the bit that says between the ages of 30 and 40. You can't just use one criteria for that, like greater than or less than. What you need to do with any sort of between situation is to break that down into two separate criteria. So we need to check the age for greater than or equal to 30, that's our first check. And then we need to check the age again for less than or equal to 40, that's our second check. But it's on the same range, and that's fine. So let's write this out and you'll see what I mean. So equals sum ifs, open the brackets. Now the sum range again is the number of jobs. So I3 to I21. This time I'm just writing it straight into the cell, so see if you can follow this. Now the first criteria range, the first thing we're checking, let's say is the plumbers. So we check the trade range, D3 to D21, and we check this for plumber. Notice how I'm adding the quotes myself this time. The next criteria range is between the ages of 30 and 40. So remember what I said. First thing I'm going to check F3 to F21. 
4, greater than or equal to 30. I'm then checking the same range, F3 to F21, this time for less than or equal to 40. Next comes the state, E3 to E21. We're checking for New South Wales, NSW. And then finally, those that drive a Holden. So C3 to C21, comma, and then in double quotes again, Holden. So here's your final formula. Again, there's one sum range at the beginning and five pairs after that for things we're checking. When we press enter, we get 35 as a result. So that's sum ifs, very, very powerful. Sum if was already good, but sum ifs takes it to another level. But try and give some of these a go yourself with some of the data that you work with.